see them doing a knee to knee thing, you know what that means, right? <laughs> that means that we can ready to get real about some things, some girl talk things. But this is Thought of the Day Thursday, video number two. You won't always get two videos on Thought of the Day Thursday. You probably just get one. But this was on my spirit so tough that I had to speak on this today. For whatever reason, it could be a message for somebody other than myself. You know, or I could be pretty much um, speaking of something that could be in my future or something that, you know, I've gone through already, which I have gone through already. And it's, I'm just, you know, healing myself through my verbiage, shall I say. So what we're talking about today is, you know, loving someone that is damaged, that's almost beyond repair, you know, and how do you love someone that don't know love? How do you, how do you love them? It's hard. This ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to straighten out my legs. <sighs> that feels so much better. Yeah, I don't know. I've been getting it in and my body is like, whoa. Okay, at any rate, it ain't about it ain't about fitness right now. It's about thought of the day Thursday and how to love somebody that is so damaged. Um, you know, guys, we are truly amongst a lot of people that are going through things that you don't have nothing, don't know nothing about. You don't have a clue about. You know, things that are much bigger than you. You know what I mean? They want to love you. They want to be those things, but their hands are tied. You know, and it's like, I'm giving you all this. I'm, you know, I'm doing all this for you. And I, this, 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 this. How could you not accept my, you know, my, my heart? And how could you not want me when, you know, I'm some of that and this, that, and other. You know what I mean? How can you not love me when I do what you ask me to do? How can you not love me when, you know, I'm working two or three jobs and I allowed you to move in my house and, you know, I'm helping you take care of all your kids, but yet and still you don't love me? How can you not love me? You know, sometimes people don't know love. They don't know what it is. They don't know how to receive it, nor do they know how to give it. They're broken, they, you know, but it starts from the beginning. You know, and how can you love a man or love a woman that was never really loved in the beginning? You know, there's a lot of people have been born in the system. There's a lot of people have been born into situations that are beyond their control. They didn't have a relationship with their mom. They didn't have a relationship with their dad. Um, and, you know, a lot of times it brings forth you know, um, relationships that are struggling, you know, because you can be in a relationship with one person that's broken and the other one trying to help pull you through. And it's like, oh my God, you know, what, 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 what's wrong with you? What, what, how are you just not getting it? Well, it could be a couple things. One thing, maybe they're just not into you. Maybe they don't even want you. You know what I mean? That could be the thing. Maybe they, you know what? Maybe they're just not your people. They're not even on your frequency. Um, but based on the feelings that they show you is how you can really, um, gauge whether or not they feel you or not. You know what I mean? And you have to be in tune to such things. When you got real, um, pertinent questions and stuff to ask your mate, you don't ask them in texts. You don't ask them over the phone. You want to ask them those pertinent things face to face because the thing is you want to get their aura. You understand? You want to feel what they're saying to you. And not only that, you want to watch them. You want to look at them. You want to see if they're shifting, if they're looking around, you know, if they're repeating themselves too many times. You know, I'm looking at the highs and lows in your voice. I'm looking at your whole get down. Because at that point, I'm gauging whether or not, you know, um, I should accept this bullshit or not. In other words, I'm deciphering deception. Okay, so, you know, some people are able to pick up on certain things real quick, and then some people, it takes them longer than others. But nowadays, we are dealing with some people that are going through some shit that they're not willing to admit. Do you understand? There's so many people, you know, and I'm going to tell you another thing, too. There's so many people that have been, you know, sexually abused as children, and they're carrying it around in their daily lives as adults. They never, they never really, they never really put a voice to that pain. They never really 
had someone that they felt safe enough to share those things with. So it's like they're bottled up, you know, with, you know, I, you know, pastor so-and-so or, you know, the neighbor down the street or the candy lady or my cousin or my brother or, you know, that man that mama kept bringing to the house, you know, this and that happened, you know, and a lot of people are walking around with those demons with nowhere to go and it's just eating them up. You understand what I'm saying? You know, their trust is gone. There's women that have been married to, you know, adulterous men, uh, men. And it's like the trust is gone. You know what I'm saying? The faith in a faithful man with me is not that good. You know, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better at it. But hell, I'm looking at the bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, this is some bullshit, and I'm ready to, I'm, 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 I'm ready to straight bounce. Cause at this point in time in my life, I don't have to put up with nothing that I don't want to. You know what I mean? So then, therefore, if it's something that I don't feel right, oh, okay, all right, see you later, bye. Let me go ahead on and um call this other one up and see what's up with this. You know what I mean? Not to say that that's a good thing, because that's just running over to someone else, you know what I mean? And it does make it easier to get over, but to get over <laughs> the pain of losing somebody, but it's also not that good. You know what I mean? It's not it's not it's not good. So, you know, it's a lot of people walking around here that are battling a whole lot of things, you know. They're struggling in their financial life. You know, they got to move on the third. You know, these people right here want me to pay two car payments now. You know, my tags is due. I got a court date. You know, um, you know, I ain't got no child support in six months. You know what I mean? And then my child got surgery on the 15th. I mean, people are going through a whole bunch of things. And sometimes it's just not you. They want to love you. They want to be all those things. But they can't. Because mentally, they, they mind is just pulled so many different places. You know, then those ones, some of those that's pulled so many different places, be mindful because they might have a wife or a husband. Reason why they are unavailable, you know, to love you and give you all of them is because they're also giving it, you know, to their spouses and to their subsequent people that they're fucking with as well, you know. So it's a lot of shit going on, family. This mental health shit is real. And, you know... Just like with this, you know, these police and stuff, they, they have no resolve. They shoot them like 40 going north. You know, you just you just buck and they, you know, they blast it, you know. And it's like, damn, you know. It's like just follow the instructions. If they telling you put your hands out the window, put your hands out the window. They telling you sit on the ground with your hands up, sit on the ground with your hands up. But it's people be going through so many different things, you know what I mean, mentally, Whereas they're not following instructions. They're not even listening. Their mind is two or three other places. You know what I mean? Or their mind could be on that liquor that they just had, that weed that they just smoked, that PCP that they own, that ecstasy pill, you know what I mean? Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? People got their own different coping mechanisms to be able to deal with this life. It's cold out here. It, it is no joke. You know, that's why, you know, we got to get out here and vote. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of people, I don't want to turn this love thing into this, this this voting thing. But let me just say this right quick, and I'm going to keep it pushing after that. A lot of people don't really want Hillary Clinton in there. Why? Because a lot of men don't want to really be behind no motherfucking woman. Let's just be honest about it. Because real shit, when you really look at it, her husband was the president. So who going to really be making the last decisions on a lot of this shit that's going to really crack off? Yeah, I understand that she will be the president of the United States. But her husband got more experience to her than her, and they laying next to each other, so shit. Who's she going to talk to about decisions that she need to make? But is it just the fact that she's a woman? Let that email shit go. Didn't they, they didn't find shit really the last time, did they? But hell, you know, all of this shit was brought up and brought up and brought up and brought up. They had no choice but to come in there and reopen up this bullshit. But by the time they really go through the shit again, what? Because then they're going to be like, well, how come this wasn't found the first time? There's not going to be nothing. I'm turning this shit into anything. But 
uh, I ain't voting for Donald Trump. Let me just go and say that right there. You done said enough about grabbing pussies and, 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 and putting up walls and barriers and you talking about sending Mexicans this way and that way. Uh-uh. Okay, and people still want to vote for Donald Trump? Okay, I think you're attention-seeking at this point in time. Let me just go and say that. I think there's a lot of attention-seeking going on when people say, Oh, well, I'm kind of thinking about voting for Donald Trump. Yeah, what's really going on? Let me hug you. You know what I'm saying? Let me really hug you, you know? But uh, at any rate, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be turning this into so many different things because this is truly supposed to be, you know, loving the broken, but... You know, it just rolled into some other things. And Donald Trump, I believe, is truly broken. You know what I mean? Can you imagine the way his wives and the ladies that he really deal with, how they really feeling on the inside? You know, this the dude that you lay with and he out here just reckless by the mouth. You know what I mean? Donald Trump is broken. Come on. Look, I mean, he has no respect for women whatsoever. What happened to you? You know, something happened to him. You know what I mean? At some point in time in his life, maybe he was a little bitty boy. Something happened. Priest or somebody got at him. And he ain't been the same after that. Something is wrong up here. And for people to gravitate with that, you know, misery loves company. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people out here got mental health issues. And then you got to look at the people that's loving them. You know, and trying to help pull them through this. Whoa. It's a lot. It is truly a lot. Um, so, at any rate, if I didn't answer this fully, I'm totally sorry. I got sidetracked with so many other things. But still, you know, love is love and I still believe in love. I, I believe in love, man. Oh, my God. I want nothing other than to live in a, in a, a life of wealth with a king that just loves and adores me. Everything about my ass. You know what I mean? Loves my children and every goddamn thing that's going on. And my kids is prosperous and doing their own thing. And we ain't even worried about nothing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's love. Whoa. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thought of the day Thursday. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. Yeah, you guys have an awesome day. Love you.